Hi, I'm Savannah Rutledge. I'm a libero. I'm Shelly Chaperone, and I'm a middle blocker. Craig Case, head coach. Coach, you can start off with your opening statement. Um, you know, <clears throat> the four or five matchups are always going to be the most exciting, and uh, I thought that that lived up to it. And you, you look at a stat sheet, and and, and you, you start trying to figure out how you won or lost, and and that, that kind of what, that's what it comes down to. But that was a um, you know was a, that was a good volleyball match with two really good teams, and um, you know we. We expected that type of match. We we played them two other times, and and uh, both times were tightly contested four set that we won, and a tightly contested fifth set that they won. So, you know, this was the kind of match that we expected. So, you know, we, we were ready for it, and, and uh, you know, I think, you know, court unfortunately came out on the wrong end of it. But you know, we we were excited to be in that opportunity. Coach, uh, third match. <coughs> uh, three of the four matches today are teams that have seen each other. Two times in the regular season. Is that something you've seen in your ten years at <laughs> Yeah, you know, it, it it usually ends up that way. You know, there's some years where where the regional tournaments are Mac heavy and, and you know, you've got four or five teams out of the eight that are from there and then they end up playing each other and and you know, other years it's the Lone Star that way. Um, especially now with, with us adding teams, you know, that were in a different conference before that were potentially here. So um it that's not uncommon and, and uh you know, it, it, I mean, your your ultimate goal is to be a national champion. You got to beat everybody, and uh, doesn't matter how many times you got to play them. If they're in front of you, you got to beat them. So, you know, it was. Um, it, it sometimes it's even worse where we actually play them a fourth time. Like last year, we played Tarleton four times, twice in the regular season, once in the conference championship one match, and then in the regional championship match. So sometimes it's even worse than playing each other three times. Uh, Shelly, for for you. Uh as a senior, this is a, a program that uh, has had a lot of success. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, not the way you would like to see your senior season end, but as far as the pride that you had playing with the Lions this year and in, in your four years, what can you walk away with that you've gained from this program? Um, I definitely can walk away with a family. And, I mean, I love these guys. I played hard with them. They play hard with me. I play for them. They play for me. So, I mean, I'm very upset with the way that – you know, it ended up, but I can honestly say that I couldn't have, you know, asked for a better team, a better coach. And I'm just putting this out there, transferring was the best thing that's ever happened. I'm so happy to be a part of this program because it started not too great, and the, la the past three years we've done things that it's never heard of, so. And then, Savannah, for you, too, and another senior, you know, liberos don't get all the, the flash because you can't <laughs> score, but you do a lot of the grunt work. As far as your time at Texas A&M Commerce, how, you know, how would you kind of summarize that, and especially uh, this senior season? You know, this team is literally, like Shelly said, my second family. Um, and I've been here all four years, so starting behind a libero the year, my freshman year, um, I really had big shoes to fill, um, and I really wanted to, you know, take her as an example and do even better. So um, I really try and do that, you know. It's a libero, I mean, yeah, you don't get it as much credit, but I love it. Like, it's my favorite thing ever. Um, losing is the worst thing ever. Losing your senior year is the worst thing ever. And losing to a team in our own conference is the worst thing ever. So obviously, like, not how we wanted <coughs> things to end. But like Shelly said, I'm just super, super thankful that God put me in Commerce, Texas. And then as far as the match goes, you know, they pose a different type of threat because their set are so aggressive. Uh, as a libero that's really in charge of that back row, uh, was it tough at points to just kind of stay disciplined, make sure people weren't jumping with her or, or making sure they would jump with her, knowing that she will kind of dump it over with the second one? Yeah, I mean, we knew going in that's what she was doing. Um, we watched a lot of film uh, for three weeks or whatever. We knew we were going to play them. So we knew going in. I just made it a point, especially too, since I'm – 5-3, that even if I'm max jumping, I might not get it every time. So I would turn to my middle back every time, you know, talk to her, hey, she's going to push you to the corner, hey, she's going to push you to the corner. Um, I always think of it like in the back row, don't even worry about the front row. Pretend like there's no block whatsoever and be better in the back row. You know, like get a dig no matter what, if there's a block up or not. So, Coach, the Fort Smith team, they're just they're scrappy. I mean, they, it's not necessarily pretty volleyball, but they seem to just kind of dig and dig and dig. And it, Do you feel like in that fifth set, it just kind of became a little bit uh, taxing on your team a little bit? Or is it just one of those things where 
you know, the, the kind of a flip of the coin, and it just ended up landing their way. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a flip of the coin. Um, you know, I don't think they're scrappier than us. I mean, we outdug them. And, you know, so I think, um, you know, I, it, it, the thing we were laughing about before the match is, you know, there's, you know, I, I've, been a, I've been a big fan of Coach Sargent for a long time, and, and I've watched our program when, when they were in a different league for a long time. And, and uh, we were laughing, me and some of the other coaches on our staff, at how similar both teams were. And, um, you know, we had – they have some areas where they're a little bit stronger than we are, and we have some areas where we're a little bit stronger than them. But other than that, you know, I think both teams are, you know, are pretty scrappy. Um, you know, both teams are physical on the net, um, you know, and, and they do a few different things well, and we do a few different things well. So, you know, I, it, I don't necessarily know that it took a toll on I don't, I don't think it took a toll. I just think there was a couple 50-50 balls that just didn't go our way, right? And uh, against good teams, that's, that's what ends up happening. And then for Celeste, you know, I believe she had a triple-double. Well, you know, Celeste, she's a she's a terrific player. Um, you know, she was the freshman of the year last year, and and she sets with the Mexican national team, and um, you know, she she's been battling injuries all year, and it wasn't until what four weeks ago yeah. that she was even cleared to play all the way around. So, um, <laughs> you know, it, it it probably hurt us a little bit not having her the whole year. Um, but at the same time, you know, she, she's, a, she's a good player, and, and uh, you know, we're blessed to have her, and, and I didn't realize she had a triple-double, but, uh, you know, ha I'm happy for her. Coach, uh, you're saying goodbye to a great senior class, including the two that are sitting next to you that have really turned this program into a national contender and three consecutive NCAA tournaments. Can you talk about the impact that the senior class has had on your program? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, you know, the, these guys are incredible. But, but it's not because of how good they are in volleyball. It's, it's how they are good are in, as people. Um, you know, it's, it's no coincidence that, that these three, these two, I'm sorry, were here for all three of our national, tie, or national tournament appearances in this run. Um, it, it's it's because, of, because of what they do. I mean, if Savannah's not in our program, we're not here. If Shelly's not in our program, we're not here. You know, and, and so, and, and that goes for all the other seniors as well. Um, but, you know, that, that's the, it, it's the most perplexing thing of coaching, right? We know that as coaches, we know this day comes. And when these guys are sophomores and juniors, it's, it's the furthest thing from their heads. And then all of a sudden, middle of that senior year, you start going, I've only got 10, 12, 13 matches left. And so it, it's hard because it, but sometimes, by the time you get them to understand the impermanence of their career, the, sometimes it's too late, you know. And, and, th and that's what I think is different, though, with this senior class, is I don't think I don't think this group in the last three years has ever sat back and went, well, we'll be good when we're seniors. I think they went, we're going to be good now, and there's no reason to not be good now. And that's that's what's been the difference in our program in the last three years that I've been here versus the first seven, is we had we had a locker room full of people that are going to be good now, not just when they're seniors. Thank you.